Well, welcome back. We are uh, zooming these uh, these new Zoom sessions. I think uh, I think we need to come up with a catchy name for it. What about what about like zooming with humans? I don't know. Zooming with humans. Terrible. That's I think someone could come up with something better if you if you could think of something, um, post it in the uh, in the comments below. But of course, Casey Barnes is our guest. Uh, how are you, brother? Mate, I'm very very well. Thanks thanks for having me. Pleasure. Uh, let me first of all say congratulations, mate. Number one, um, huge, and it's um, you know the, the music network charts are a, a big thing, but but iTunes as well. I mean, could you have imagined that uh, the latest record would, would be doing so well for you? Not really, mate. I, I'm bit, we're feeling pretty um, very grateful today, and and I guess it was a pretty big decision um, to push ahead and release an album at the moment. We obviously planned to the whole tour which we were meant to be right in the middle of at the moment and and it was a you know a, a big call to go do we still put the album out now or do we wait and and we sort of made the decision let's let's push ahead and and still put it out and i'm, I'm glad we did because i you know i i, I think um, we've, we've actually made the right call so absolutely stoked mate um the hat for you it's become a bit of a trademark hasn't it we're in the uh the ball cap I've, i'm feeling a bit left out so I've Gonna chuck it on. Uh, channeling my uh, my my uh, Casey Barnes look. How's it, how am I going, mate? You are you, you're in the band straight up. <laughs> I you can't play. In. I can't play much. Doesn't mate, matter. I can play the full. You can't play either. Yeah. <laughs> what? Why the cap? Um, and I know it's always something that you've you've rocked and like, you know, not, not the sort of traditional country look. I guess, oh, mate, I probably wouldn't even class myself as your your traditional country artist. So I, I, um, I've always always worn a cap, you know, growing up playing a lot of sport as a kid, I guess, um, you know, whether it was footy or basketball or cricket or whatever, and, and then throwing a bit of music at the same time, and it sort of felt like the right, the right fit. And um, I guess that, yeah. And I, and I mean, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of American um, country acts that I love as well. That that sort of don the old trucker cap and yeah, Kip Moore. Yeah. You love the you love the cap. Who's that? Kip Moore. Oh Eric yeah, Bird. Kip Moore. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, Granger Smith. There's there's a few that um, that I'm a fan of. Um, that yeah, absolutely. I, I don't know. Just it, it feels right. Yeah. And I'm probably losing my hair a bit more than I'd like to be, mate, at, at my age. So. <laughs> It, it masks, you know, it masks it well. How'd you go sport? I, I mate, if I um, if I didn't go full time with music, I probably would have stuck with um, with footy. I, I I grew up in Tassie and down in down in Tassie, AFL or Aussie Rules is a is a religion down there. So um, so I played a lot of footy growing up and played a bit of rep footy for Tassie and the Teal Cup and um, loved love sport. Um, there's not you know, growing up in Tassie, there's not a heck of a lot to do. So if you if you don't get into music or some sort of sport, you you sort of you get a bit lost down there. So um, so yeah, always love my sport, and doesn't matter what code. You know, up here, you know, obviously been in Queensland for 20 years and love my league and um, all sorts. Doesn't doesn't as long as there's a ball involved, mate. I love it. You're you're an adopted Queenslander, mate. And uh, funny, so we got the, uh, the there old, it is. That's the JT. That's the Jonathan Thurston right there for everybody. That's beautiful. What a, what a jersey, um, mate. I've also got to ask you about um, your garden there. We had Brad Butcher on, uh, on on the other day, and he's got a, a magnificent looking garden up there in Rockhampton. Um, let's have a look at your uh, your abode. Can you show us around? Would you like to tour? Well, we we live actually. You know the boys. Obviously, you know the boys from Busby Maru. Um, do you, you're aware of you're obviously aware of those guys. They're um never heard fellow, of them. Never heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're um fellow Corumban locals as well. So, uh, so we all live down here in in Corumban. And one of the reasons I love it here is um if you look around, you're just surrounded by like just birds and nature. And I'll take you out the back actually. Lush. Um, you got look if you look up here, can you see that? few palm trees yes, can't take the credit for those they were here when we bought the house so um you can probably hear all the bloody birds going around at the moment this time of day there's heaps of them Fabulous. floating around 
And then um, there's the backyard, mate. Um, wow. Look at that. It's this, yeah. this the same as well, the trampoline. Brad, uh, Brad Butcher doesn't have any kids, but he's got a trampoline in his backyard, so I don't know what's doing there. <laughs> he, he, I think he, he's getting back into aerobics Oz style, he told me. <laughs> so he likes to do aerobics on the, um, on the trampoline there. So. Yeah. <laughs> you're, no, a, I, you're, you're a fit dude, Casey. You're always, you're always uh, keeping in shape. What have you been doing um, in isolation? How have you been keeping, keeping fit? Give me some tips. Yeah. Mate, I, I don't know if you're like me, but I've been missing, um, missing F45 like crazy. I, I, that's one thing I've been doing. A, well, I was doing a heck of a lot over the last um, 18 months or so, and that, that's one of my favourite things to do. But obviously, because of all the restrictions, we can't. We're not allowed to go to the gym anymore, so um, so I like I generally love going for a run. Um, it's a beautiful part, you know, part of the world here where we live. So I usually, you know, scoot down along the beachfront and cruise down into um, Palm Beach and run along the, the the beachfront. It's just awesome. You couldn't you know couldn't ask to be in a better better place. So it's usually what I try and do, mate. Keep out of trouble. What about your Anzac Day? Uh, a little bit different this this year, you know. I was up um, up in the morning um, checking it all out, but uh, what did uh, what did you get up to, Bruss? Mate, we um, we paid our respects. We got up for the the dawn service, and um, look, myself and my wife and and our daughters, we stood at the the front uh, the front driveway with our little candle, and actually, was really um, super impressed with um, everyone in our street. Like, it would have probably I, Every second house, at least, there was they were out in their um out in the driveway, and which is you know great respect. And we even had the I think it was the World War Two um fighter planes that flew over overhead right on um right on six o'clock. So it was um or six a.m. and it, yeah, it was just magic. So obviously not quite the same as the real thing, you know. But I think um it was still you know really a, a great tribute. Well, speaking of your wife, um, she's a a magnificent singer in her own right and for, for people who haven't seen I've been uh, scrolling through some of your videos today I think I told you about this one that I stumbled on uh, a little while ago I'm just gonna give um, everyone at home a little uh, uh, a little listen to Michelle Barnes here we go Here she goes. Wow. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Uh, no offense, mate. You're you're a fine singer. But... <laughs> wow. Yeah, mate. She's. Yeah, she's got some chops on her and, and um, it frustrates the heck out of me because she's got such a great voice and, and um, I have to fight just to get her, you know, get her on camera or get her to do things these days. That she's quite happy being behind the scenes, but she, yeah, she's got a great voice. And when we do get to sing together, it's, um, it's good fun. Don't, don't, you don't need me in the band. You, you need her in the band. <laughs> I know, mate. It's funny. We actually met um, through music. That's how we actually originally met. I was, um, you obviously, um, or anyone else that may be uh, watching or listening as well, that, that have been to Groundwater Country Music Festival here on the coast. There's um, the main stage there in Surf Parade. And 15 years ago, I was doing this tiny little acoustic gig in a, in a restaurant there on that same street, um, playing to about five people. And and uh, Michelle just happened to walk past at the time and I was playing a song and she stopped and had a listen with some of her friends and um, it's literally how we met. So that's, I think that's why that, you know, that festival on that street in particular has got, always got a, a, a bit of a soft spot, but it's, uh, it's nice to see that festival, you know, going so well too. It's just, hopefully it'll still go ahead. Uh, have you found any, well, you know, while we've gone through these, these crazy times, have you found a, uh, a secret uh, talent or a, or a hobby that you've you've picked up, bro. <laughs> annoying the annoying the crap out of my wife and my girls to be right up there. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think they <laughs> no. Oh, look, um, nothing too spectacular. I think one of the things like I've actually um, I've actually realised is is when you take away, and I guess a lot of other musos might be going through a similar thing. Is 
you know, we, we're not able to go out and play live at the moment. We're not able to make a, an income out of, of performing, which is a, a huge bummer. But taking that away has made me sort of remember why I love music in the first place and why I picked up the guitar and started playing and why, why I started writing songs. And, and I've, funnily enough, I've sort of fallen back in love with, with the whole thing. It's, it's really hard to explain, but, um, you know, just even putting on records that you haven't listened to in years and listening to them from start to finish because you've got the time to do it and all that sort of thing is, um, it's actually been really, um, really nice. Any TikToks? Any TikToks? I'll tell you who's the best. If anyone wants to see the benchmark for TikToks, um, with, for country music anyway, is um, Troy Kemp and his, his partner. Oh, okay. They're just on fire. They're absolutely hilarious. Getting on that. I've got right, nothing. Yeah. I did one the other day as well. And, uh, yeah, I think it'll be my first and last, mate. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no idea. I need I need uh, some education in that um, forum, mate. I've, if Chuggy told me he's, they sent a message through and they, and they said we want all of you guys to to get on TikTok, and I'm still trying to work out how to use it. So I've Just got some work kids, to do. Mate. Just ask the kids; they're all over it. Yeah, I've got to get my act together. Brother, thanks so much for spending some time with us. Uh, zooming with the humans. I don't know if that's going to stick, but I like it. Episode two with Casey Barnes. Uh, happy Sunday to you, mate. What do you got off the rest of today? Thanks, mate. Mate, just um, just enjoying, I guess, taking it all in. I mean, last night was some big news with my first ever Aria number one on the, the album chart. So just um, soaking it in and feeling very grateful. And, and also, you know, a huge thanks to you guys for, for the last few months supporting, you know, my stuff and all Aussie artists. It makes a huge difference. So... So, yeah, thanks very much. No worries. There he is, Casey Barnes in that uh, lush paradise of a backyard. Okay. Let's have another go. Oh, look at that. Wow. There it is. Queensland. Why would you want to live anywhere else? Exactly, mate. All right. Well, let us know who you'd like us to Zoom. Uh, comment below. We're also going to post a, uh, a link to some of your tunes down there, Casey. So jump on board. Uh, let us know what you, uh, who you want us to have a yarn with. And uh, you take it easy, sir. Congratulations once again. Thanks, brother. See you, mate.